Good afternoon. I'm Carly Schwartzkopf, joined by Olivia Landis, reporting for CTV Sports at Moby Arena in Fort Collins, Colorado, <laughs> where the CSU Rams defeated the Fresno State Bulldogs 78 to 62. Olivia, this puts the Rams now nine and four in Mountain West. Still have that magnificent seven. They played great tonight. Yeah, and it was a little bit of a slow start for both teams. We didn't really see double digits happening until about five minutes left with play. So a lot of aggressiveness, and this is the first time we've seen in a long time the refs really let up and let the players play. Overall, this was a huge win for Colorado State. We talked about it before. They can't afford to lose at home anymore. So the fact that they took this one home, I think they're going to be happy tonight. Absolutely. And, you know, Colorado State really struggled tonight down low. They did could not score inside. Fresno State outscored them 28 to 20, which is a huge part of Colorado State's offense is those drives and not relying so heavily on their three-point shooters. That is why I think it was such a slow start at the beginning in the first quarter. We were relying too much on our shots, and they just unfortunately weren't falling. J.D. Page, though, a couple of his shots did fall. He walked away with 20 points tonight and no rebounds, though. No rebounds. That was a huge yeah. struggle for Colorado State tonight, but one player did pretty good in that. Yeah, the rebound is de the rebounding is definitely where Colorado State struggled a little bit tonight, which is, you know, a little different. We usually see them excel in that area. Emmanuel Magbo, who's had 14 double-doubles so far on the, senior, on the season, excuse me, only claimed three rebounds tonight. However, Nico Caravaccio grabbed 11 rebounds, adding on six points tonight. He was absolutely huge in tonight's game, definitely the difference maker. Yeah, he was so aggressive down though, something we have not seen all season. If he can keep that up, it's there's no telling what this team can do. One player, you know, Gian Clavel, something that I've really noticed about Gian this season is when his shots aren't falling, he does try and he's like, I know I can make these shots, so he keeps trying and trying really turned up in the fourth quarter. He still managed to get 19 points pretty much within a quarter. So that was huge for the Rams, but overall shooting was such a struggle for them. And that is why Fresno State was able to, you know, hang in most of the game. Yeah, Fresno State did outshoot the Rams in every category except for the three point field goal range. However, the Rams did score 22 points off of turnovers from Fresno State. So Colorado State's second chances, they outscored Fresno State in that. And I think that might play a big part. We, that's what we saw a lot happening, especially down on this last basket, basket in the second half, those second chance shots that were falling. Yeah, and you know, the first quarter they did play pretty evenly. Fresno State was only down by two going into halftime. And a huge play for Fresno State was Deshaun Taylor. He had 19 points tonight. You know, really, he was a pretty consistent player overall. He was definitely making the shots when the Rams weren't. So he was really helpful to Fresno State's offense tonight. Yeah, and adding on to that, Jaron Hopkins for Fresno State attacked on 18 points. Two really big players. They were they were contributed to the in-the-paint points for the Bulldogs. However, still fell just a little short. Yeah, just a little short, but the Rams did play good tonight. That magnificent, magnificent seven. It's still really surprising everybody. There's no telling what this team can do. Well, up next, Colorado State takes on San Diego State at home. That's all the updates we have for you on tonight's game. But stay tuned into our CTV Channel 11 YouTube page or catch us on Twitter for more updates. I'm Olivia Landis. And I'm Carly Schwartzkopf.